Good afternoon. Uh, just doing a, a quick video showing you how you can use MSI Afterburner um, to enable you to use like an on-screen display during gaming um, to display sort of stats about your graphics card and your processor. Um, so if you're not aware of uh, what this is, what I'm talking about, I'll just quickly show you. So this is a screenshot from a Rocket League game that I play and if you see in the top right hand corner here there's some uh, numbers and stats um, I've got it set up so that it's monitoring the graphics card in my computer show me the uh, core clock speed the utilization the temperature and the power draw and then the same for the processor and then it shows the graphics card VRAM usage the computer RAM usage and then finally the frames that I'm currently getting um, so before you start if you don't already you'll need to download MSI Afterburner the version that you're looking for is 4.6.5 there's been an issue prior to this where it doesn't correctly show the uh, processor utilization um, I know it definitely didn't do it on AMD processors, I don't know if it did it on Intel as well, but with this latest version it's um, working correctly. So the um, the version is 4.6.5. So once you've got that um, downloaded, so open up MSI Afterburner, click on the settings cog and you want to click on the monitoring tab so what this is this is showing you um, basically what the MSI Afterburner program is going to monitor during your gaming um, you also need to make sure that you've got the um, Riva Tuner, Riva Tuner, I don't know how you say that uh, statistics server installed as well when you install MSI Afterburner it will ask if you want to install this as well so click yes um, this basically just works alongside MSI Afterburner. Um, you don't need to adjust anything on here other than this little bit at the bottom right hand corner, which is where you select sort of which corner of your screen you want the overlay to be. So I have it in the top right. So just make sure you don't close that, just minimize it. Um, so back to MSI Afterburner, click on monitoring, and then just click whatever you want to. Um, to display in the um, on-screen display during your gaming. So mine, I've got core clock, GPU usage, GPU temperature, power, uh, CPU clock usage, temp, CPU power, memory, RAM, frame rate. So basically everything that you saw um, on the little screenshot of Rocket League there. So once you've selected which items you want to uh, monitor, you have to click the little tick on the left hand side of it and then you need to click on show in on screen display and then it will uh, highlight here under the properties tab so I'm going to take that off basically means it's not going to show it whilst you're gaming um, so click that and then you can drag the order of these as well so that it doesn't have to come up all sort of random and everything like that so I've kind of dragged mine to the order you just hold it and uh, just kind of drag it like that really um, so yeah if you just drag it you can see there it just changes uh, sort of the order of it um, so once you've done that just click on apply and then click OK and then before you start your game have MSI Afterburner running and once you're in game um, I think the key is F9 let's just double check um, oh yeah, sorry, it's F10. So on MSI Afterburner under on screen display, the settings here to turn it on is uh, F10 on mine to toggle it on, or F11 to actually show the on screen display. I don't have a key set to hide it because I never hide it really. So you can put whatever you want in these two. Um, again, just hit apply, and then OK, and that's as easy as that that's how you can get a handy little tool to display your component statistics whilst gaming and it also shows up um, if you're using 
like NVIDIA or another screen recording software program, it will show up as you can see it there. That's that sort of fixed in to that uh, picture. Like if I was recording video footage there, it'd be fixed in as well. So it's quite handy for like YouTube videos and, and whatnot, streaming. Um, so I hope this video has been of use. Please like and subscribe, post any comments or questions, and I'll always get back to you. Thank you. Bye.